look beautiful. Thanks, Congratulations, by the way. Thank you very much. I'm a little baby there, a little Thank baby Thank you, number there. three. Oh, that's great. You look good. Thank you. Everything going great with that? Everything's going great. Fantastic. Uh, how's Paul doing? Is he doing all right? Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Everyone's good. We had a great holiday. Everyone's happy. I didn't know that you were from, that you grew up around Woodstock, because I'm from Saugerties. I did. I did. I lived, you know, I lived in, I lived in the city mo most of my life, yeah. but we lived in Willow, which is just outside of Woodstock, for about four years. Yeah, so yeah, well, we didn't, what, what years? You were, we were little. I was there from when I was six to when I was about ten. And I was playing I was with He-Man with, uh, by that time. Yeah, that was, was uh, I was, uh, I was in the have... Evil Knievel. I was, <laughs> were you really? <laughs> that was sort of my thing, yeah. Oh, I love Evil Knievel. Yeah, There's awesome. an Evil Knievel documentary that is so awesome that me and my friend used to watch it. We used to rent it from this local video store and watch it every weekend. I was, I was totally mad for Evil Knievel. Yeah, you, I had a little you mini the... motorcycle and the Fonz. I was into the Fonz, too, a little Fonz. It was a big motorcycle time for, uh, yeah, yeah, for us really, growing up. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, the Fonz was awesome as well. Do you still uh, go to the air? Do you have family well, in the air? Yeah, I do, actually. I have, uh, I have family in Phoenicia. Yeah, I, I know, know, if Phoenicia. You know Phoenicia. Absolutely. You know Phoenicia. It's a great place. That's yeah, gorgeous. I have amazing family there. I have a, a, the, the wonderful Aunt Rachel and the astounding uh, Uncle Hank live in Phoenicia. Shout out so, to Uncle um, Hank and Aunt Rachel, Uncle Hank, absolutely. Is, Uncle Hank, who is extraordinary, he's, you know, the salt of the earth, kind of all-American, Vietnam vet, who has taken a special interest in uh, transforming my British husband into a really good American. <laughs> you know, <laughs> trying to he teach him how to. He's trying to teach him how to do stuff like, you know, Say you have a squirrel problem, you know? <laughs> what do you do about your squirrel problem? The good old-fashioned like American way, of course, you, you know, shoot a few squirrels and hang them outside your house to yeah. teach the, uh, send a message to the other absolutely, squirrels. Absolutely, absolutely. Know, we have that problem, yeah, absolutely, yes. We have that in Manhattan shoot a lot. Shoot them, hang them um, out, teach you know, them a lesson. How do you, uh, <laughs> you know, if you're in a pinch and your septic tank isn't working, how do you make a new septic tank out of a, out of a washing machine? Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> thank you, Uncle Hank. Thank you for that one. And, and one, of, uh, one of our favorites, how do you fill a wine glass the American way, which is all the way up to the top. <laughs> <laughs> because if you do it this sort of, you know, stuffy old European way, yeah. halfway, Not cool. that's, a, that's a wasted that's journey a, right there. It's, it's a, a wasted, wasted journey. journey. <laughs> wasted journey and a little bit of feminine. It's a you wasted know? journey probably after so, a couple of full wine glasses, too. That's a good, a different wasted journey. So good, um, good helpful tips. I was going to uh, ask you about your husband again, because uh, it's a funny story. You guys both do uh, big, huge movies, so normally when you do a movie, they're not set in the same area so yeah i've been in the midwest a lot recently yeah. which is awesome it's been yeah it's, it's fine i love the midwest I did he's in michigan but where is paul paul's in like paul was in venice come on <laughs> yeah. he's on vacation i mean i love michigan michigan was great and and we did this one in chicago which is a great town oh yeah super um, fun you know but he was filming in in venice which is pretty did you go, vi cool. go visit him in venice we did i've uh, never been to uh, italy i had never you've never been to italy mm -mm. You've never been to Italy. No. It's so beautiful. I, I, I know. I just would. Oh, it's so great. I'm just stuck playing with He-Man dolls my you whole life. I kind of got bring, trapped as a kid. Bring sheltered. Bring He-Man with you. Right? I know I should. Um, but yeah, well, he was in Venice, which I had never been to Venice before, and it's astounding. But it's you know, it's kind of like it's like a, going to Disneyland. It's like, no one, people, not so many people really live there. It's very touristy, but yeah. it's extraordinarily beautiful. Um, but pretty much everything that we did was the stuff that all the tourists do like the you know going on the gondola and the guy singing and then yeah. you go with the oh, oh, do they do that or kind not kind of like that yeah, i would request that i mean that. never that well but you know <laughs> yeah, um, right. and uh and glass blowing you know because murano was there at the big glass blowing oh, was really center glass blowing is a big thing it's a big that. thing so we yeah we went and did some of that we want a glass blowing tour which is interesting that's it was pretty kind fun. Of fun it was kind of fun yeah we went we were there and then uh, we were, we thought we had seen all there was to see of the glass blowing, and uh, I guess someone recognized us and said, you know, it was the owner of the factory came and said, <clears throat> we'd love to offer you a special tour. And we were, <laughs> we were like, oh, it's so kind of you, thank you, but this tour's been great, and you know, we're just gonna get the boat and go Kinda back. Kind of all the glass blowing we so can much. see, yeah. No, no, really, honestly, you must. You must, because you've been seeing the master but we have a, a grand master. And we're like, mm, okay. And he's saying, really, I assure you, you could see some special things that you can't otherwise see if you see the grand master. For example, I think maybe 
would your children like to see the Grandmaster blow a clown? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, no, please. Uh, <laughs> you swim off this boat. Yeah. Is that legal in it? No, no, I don't no. Know. Where's Uncle Hank when you need him? Uh, Get him out there. Absolutely no thank you so much for the special tour. You yeah. guys, more with Jennifer Connolly when we get back. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm hanging with my pal Jennifer Connolly right here. She's in the new film, The Dilemma. This is a Ron Howard film. It's it a comedy. Is it is. Do you want to explain Vince what The Dilemma is? And, uh, Kevin, Kevin James. James. Winona, Winona Ryder. Ryder. No, it's for Jinx. Now. Yeah, Jinx, buy me a coat. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was really fun. It was very refreshing for me to be in a comedy. Yeah. Yeah, and and my character, I really like her. She's sort of happy, which is refreshing for me. <laughs> yeah. well. It was very plain dramatic. Well, last time you and Ron Howard together, you both won Oscars. A That's beautiful, true. A beautiful mind. Congratulations That's true. on that. Thank you very, very, much. very good. Thank you very much. It was great. It's, you know, I'll be, you know, I love Ron so much. He's a phenomenal director. He's so talented. And he's impossibly nice and lovely to work with. Is it different on a comedy than mm -hmm. it is on a, a dramatic movie? It, he was a bit more chipper. And, uh, you know, Vince really likes to, uh, to improvise. So, you know, it kind of felt a little more relaxed and loose on set. But fundamentally, yeah, I mean, I think he made different choices as a filmmaker because of the genre of the film, because he was making a comedy. But his approach, you know, he's focused and his approach to directing is pretty was pretty familiar yeah, for he's me a pro, yeah he's a real actor's director he has a long rehearsal process and, um, and the movie is about it's you and Vince Vaughn are a couple we are a couple and Kevin James and Winona Ryder are a couple yeah and Vince and, is uh, about to propose to you yeah he's about to propose and then he is out actually thinking about what you know the proposal and wh where it's gonna happen and all that kind of stuff and he witnesses his best friend's wife doing something she shouldn't do with another guy and Channing Tatum by the way Channing Tatum and then um, the dilemma is do I tell my best friend how do I tell him who he's kind of stressed out at the moment that he wants to tell him yeah do so you he's wait? acting totally he, weird and you're like what is going on he behaving really erratically he doesn't tell anybody what it's, he has what's happening so of course yeah. then he behaves er erratically then we all start thinking that something else is going on <laughs> and he starts creating a problem and then he gets nervous and then he creates a bigger problem and then you know it's Vince Vaughn who starts doing his thing and then it's gosh it's hysterical. hilarious and him and Kevin together in the car just yelling and arguing stuff it's ridiculous I like that stuff a lot it's and very, his very proposal good. Toast. I, I really like that. Not the proposal, the, um, the, the anniversary the, dinner toast. Your parents' really anniversary yeah. toast. It's absolutely hilarious. Uh, we have a clip from the dilemma. Here's Jennifer Connolly. There you go. A little ping pong, guys. A little ping pong skills right there. Thank you. Very, very nice. Jennifer Connolly, everybody, the dilemma is in theaters. This